Hello, Patrick Walchuk here. Uh, for the end of November, as we always do, we've selected a multi-unit property that we're going to break down the financials for you <clears throat> and just see if it made sense to buy it. But we're gonna do something a little bit different. Typically, we look at a property if we go in with a 35% down payment, what does that mean? What's the cash flow? What's the ROI? That kind of thing. So we're going to do that, but then we're also going to put up a slide for you. Well, what does it take for this pro excuse me, this property to either break even or at least have a small positive cash flow? So let's get right into it. And we're starting with a seven unit building located in central Ottawa that sold in November of this year. <clears throat> and it was listed for 3750000 It uh, sold for 3.4 million. The scheduled rental income was almost 199,000. Deducting uh, for vacancy and bad debt, it had an ERI of about 193,000. The operating expenses were close to 27,000. And when we factor in maintenance and management, uh, we have total operating expenses of $46,000. And that gives us an NOI of almost 147,000. So, now that we know that, we see that this property had a cap rate of 4.3%. The operating expense ratio, whew, man, that's low. That's really low at 24%. Uh, it sold for 18 times the gross and 23 times the net. A little bit on the high side, uh, so I can kind of see what's coming when I see that. Now, again, with our traditional 35% down payment, that's $1,190,000. That's what the buyer would have put down to buy it at 35%. <clears throat> that gives us uh, monthly mortgage payments annualized. Um, by the way, the monthly mortgage payments are at 5.5%. And when we annualize them, that's your annual debt service of 161880 So when we know our NOI, we deduct that and it gives us a negative annual cash flow of over $15,000 and of course that's going to give us a negative ROI of 1.28%. So you invested the money we talked about and you lose about 15 grand. So what would it take? How much of a down payment would you need in order for this to cash flow positive? We're not going to go through everything all over again, but we'll start here. So turns out you need about a 42% down payment. So you need cash in hand of $1,428,000 and that changes your uh, annual debt service and provides you with a positive cash flow of about $2,100 and that's a, a very small ROI of 0.15%. If you enjoy this change up here in this comparison, uh, please feel free to let us know. Thank you for watching.